let's look at the indexing section in the Google Search Console. Okay, here you will see pages, sitemaps, removals, and also if you have videos on your website, you have uh, another uh, option called as video pages. For example, I'll show it to you here. Okay, if you have any videos on some pages, those will come here. Okay, first let's look at pages. Okay, here it will show all the errors related to indexing. If at all, you know, Google has started indexing and it has detected some errors, it will show all the errors over here. Here, if you look at here, there are six pages which are not indexed and there are 30 pages which are indexed. Okay, now you can come here, view data about indexed pages. Click on this and you will see all the links which are indexed. Okay, so these are all the pages which got indexed. Okay, now going back, so that is fine, but no index is an issue. Google is not able to index our pages, so that is an issue. So for that, okay, come down and you will see all the pages which are not being indexed and the reasons, you know, for that why they are not indexed. For example, if you look at here, there are five pages which are excluded by no index tag. So there are five pages on my website where I have put no index tag for them so that I don't want Google to index them. I have purposely uh, mentioned that Google should not or no other bot should you know index this one. So if you go inside this one, you will see those URLs. So these are the five URLs which are you know uh, these three first these three I have mentioned not to index but these two are also you know coming as you know errors okay, which is not right. Like whenever you you know search something, this is a dynamically created URL which is being crawled and indexed. Uh, sorry, which is being crawled and you know uh, it is having an issue in the website. So this needs to be resolved. Okay, other three I have done, so nothing to do about that. And next one is page with redirect. So there is one particular page which is getting redirected. Okay, so this page, you know, when I when I click on this one, open the page. So that is a HTTP version. So if at all, you know, it is going to HTTPS version. Uh, this error is fine because only single one and it doesn't have much load on, you know, on your server. So only with one, one page is normal. Uh, nothing, you can ignore that one. But you have a lot of links like that, which will take too much of server, which is going to cause a problem, you know, in accessing your website somehow. So if you have redirects, so many redirects, happening so you need to look at you know how, from where there is these redirects are happening and you need to resolve that one okay and there are two other errors also but uh, there are no pages you know for that one so all are cleared uh, nothing to do with this two errors crawled currently not indexed discovered currently not indexed so if at all you have not put any no index tag on a particular a url or a page okay and if it's still showing here okay you just simply uh, take that url put it in the inspect URL and do a manual crawling your page. So Google will start indexing your page. If at all, uh, there are some errors, error pages on this uh, two things because it is able to crawl, it is able to discover, but it is not able to index. Somehow it has missed. So you manually uh, put here and uh, request for indexing and it will be done. And next going to video pages. So Google, this is a recent feature. Okay. Uh, so whatever videos are present on any page, so those will be coming here and you click on what are those pages it will show this page so on this page there is a, a youtube video which is embedded so it is going to show that also over here and if there are any issues related to crawling a video url uh, you know it will show here so as of now everything is good nothing to worry about you know video page indexing or you know page indexing okay next coming to sitemaps uh, whenever you create a google search console you have to submit sitemap sitemap is uh, a link uh, where all the links on your website are present let it be you know your articles let it be your images videos uh, or any news content so everything will be present on this file so if at all you are using a wordpress these are automatically created by plugins like yoast seo and rank math or all in one seo they will create this once you install those plugins if at all you don't have uh, you know wordpress you are not using wordpress if you are using any other customized websites you can simply go to google and uh, search for xml sitemaps xml sitemap generator okay once you come here okay put your website url over here okay take your website url and put it here and click on start
So once you do that, it will scan your website and it will be creating a sitemap. So once it is created, you can download the sitemap, okay, and upload it to your website. And the URL should look like this one. Uh, so this the, either this one, like domain slash sitemap underscore index dot html. So underscore index can also be removed. You can simply say sitemap dot xml. So it has to be a XML file. So whenever you download here, you will get a XML file only. So the naming of the URL when you upload it to your website has to be sitemap.xml or else sitemap underscore index dot XML. So this way you have to upload it to your website and after you upload it, uh, come to the sitemap section and submit that URL over here. Okay, put that URL and click on submit. Since this is a WordPress website, uh, this link is automatically created and whenever a new page or a post is created on WordPress, it will be automatically added here and automatically crawled. But in case of manually coded websites, okay, you have to, uh, you know, create the, those sitemaps every time whenever you create new pages on your website. Okay, once you do that, uh, you have to update your sitemaps on your website. So this is how you create a sitemaps and submit it. So it will crawl, once you submit, it will crawl all the URLs. For example, on WordPress, you have pages and posts. If at all, you have images also, image sitemap will be created. If at all, you have videos also, you will have video sitemaps also created. Okay. And for example, if you look at post sitemap, there are 25 discovered URLs. Once you click on that, okay, uh, you will find uh, the index coverage over here. This is not clickable at the moment. So once you do that, Google will start crawling every page of your website so that it doesn't miss any URL in crawling and indexing the page. So for that purpose, you have to submit each and every URL. Okay, next, let's move to removals part. So here, if at all, if you want to remove any uh, particular, um, you know, URL or uh, your page, one of your pages from, uh, you know, Google index, if you don't want them to be showing up there, you know, you can remove that from here. You have to come here, click on new request, put the URL over here and click on uh, next. It will be removed for six months. Okay. After six months, you know, you, your page might appear again. So in this meantime, you can completely remove that uh, URL content from your website. Let it be a 404 URL. So if at all urgently you want to remove, you can use this feature. Come here, put the URL and immediately this will be removed. Okay. And next, outdated content and safe search filtering. So when it comes to outdated content, and if you feel that if you have some, you know, outdated content, you know, one thing you can do is you can remove the whole page and, you know, 404 can be created or it can be redirected to a home page. So this feature over here really doesn't make sense. If it is outdated content, you can directly remove the complete page or you can update the content. Uh, to you know the recent times the updated content can be uh, done over there so this is not needed much not a, a big issue okay and uh, this is safe search filtering so if at all there are any 18 plus content or uh, not even 18 plus content uh, there are some content which google don't want to show it to the users for example some content related to weapons you know some content related to porn you know these are not safe these are very sensitive related things uh, where content uh, if at all your website is flagged for that purpose, if someone has complained to Google that this website contains, you know, explicit content, which is purely sensitive, if that, you know, will be appearing here. If at all you think that is done by mistake, you can come and file an appeal to Google that your website doesn't contain anything that way. So this is about indexing part. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this and share this video to your friends so it reaches to more people.